First, create and identify the client and then explain the procedure and how he can cooperate. Good morning, I am Nurse Adrienne. Good morning, um, so may I know your name, ma'am? I'm Kelly Dinesh. Okay, thank you, Paul. So today, I will be assessing your appearance together with your mental status, skin, hair, and nails. In order to do that, I will be needing your cooperation to do an accurate assessment. And then wash hands and observe appropriate infection control procedures. And then prepare all the materials needed before the assessment. Then prepare a suitable environment and provide for client privacy. Then ask the client to empty the bladder or bowel. Um, so ma'am, do you want to go to the comfort room first before the assessment? No, not Then note for relevant general observation. Uh -huh. um, so ma'am, may I know your general health status? Kamusta naman po kayo? Um, okay naman po and wala naman po ako ibang naramdaman. Then observe for the body build, height and weight in relation to client's age. Then observe posture and gait, standing, sitting, and walking. While assessing, observe the overall hygiene and grooming, as well as the dress. Note for body and breath odor. Observe signs of distress and posture. Note obvious signs of health or illness, assess the client's attitude, observe facial expression, observe behavior and affect or mood, and then assess for appropriateness of the client's responses. And lastly, listen and observe for the relevance and organization of thoughts and speech. And then measure the vital signs of the client such as the blood pressure, temperature, pulse rate, and respiratory rate. And then document findings in the client's record. Assessment of the skin. First is to determine client's history of skin allergies and skin problems. So ma'am, are you experiencing any skin problems such as um, rashes, bruises, swelling, um, dryness and lesions. Um, wala naman po. Okay, so I will be assessing your skin. Um, first, um, Inspect color and uniformity of the skin. Yeah. Assess edema if present. Edema is present if palpation leaves a dent in the skin. Okay. Inspect, palpate, and describe skin breakdown and lesions if present. When lesions are observed, palpate lesions between your thumb or index finger. Then measure it with small, clear, and flexible ruler. And then palpate texture of skin. And then use your palmar surface of fingers and finger pads. Normal skin feels smooth, firm, and even. And then palpate skin temperature and moisture. Use the dorsal side of your hand which is the most sensitive to temperature. Palpate the forehead first. Continue to palpate inferiorly including the hands and feet. Compare temperature of left and right side of the body. And then palpate for skin mobility and turgor. Using your forefinger and thumb, grasp a fold of skin beneath the medial aspect of the wrist. And then document findings in the client's record. Assessment of the hair. First is to determine the client's history of recent use of hair dyes, rinses, curling, or straightening. Um, so ma'am, do you have any current use or history of using hair dyes, um, curling your hair, or straightening your hair? Um, last year po, nagpakulit po ako ng hair, then um, nagsistraight and nag-curling po ako ng hair. 
First is to inspect the hair for general color and condition. Like skin color, hair color varies according to the level of melanin production. Then inspect for the evenness of growth over the scalp. The amount of hair varies with age, gender, and overall health. Healthy hair is distributed throughout the scalp. And then assess the texture of the hair, the thickness or thinness, dryness or oiliness. Roll a few strands of hair between your thumb and forefinger. Hair may be thick or fine and may appear straight, wavy, or curly. It is also smooth and firm and elastic. And then document the findings in the client's record. Assessment of the nails. First is to determine client history of diabetes mellitus, peripheral circulatory disease, previous injury, and severe illness. Any history of diabetes mellitus, um, severe illness or injury? Wala Inspect for grooming and cleanliness. Then inspect for shape and contour. There is normally a 160 degree angle between the nail base and the skin. Perform the shamroth technique to assess clubbing. Look at the distal phalanx and observe the diamond shape opening created by nails. Then inspect for nail color and markings. Small white markings in the nail are normal findings and indicate minor trauma. And then palpate for texture. Nail plate should be firmly attached to the nail bed. Perform blanch test for capillary refill. Depress the nail edge briefly to blanch and then release. Color returns to healthy nails instantly upon release, usually in less than 2 seconds. And then document findings in the client record.